In this video, we'll show you how to export your audio description work for use in DaVinci Resolve's ADR panel. DaVinci Resolve is a popular NLE software available for free online. To start, let's ensure we select the audio description event group we want to export. Next, open the file export window by clicking the export icon. Choose subtitle file from the list of options and click next. Select CSV from the file extension dropdown. You'll notice two DaVinci profiles found in the profile list, DaVinci Resolve ADRQ list and DaVinci Resolve Edit Index list. The Edit Index list will generate a list of markers in the Resolve Edit timeline. This can be helpful for navigating a project based on timings from Closed Caption Creator. We're going to export an ADRQ list. Select DaVinci Resolve ADRQ list from the list of profiles and click Export. Next, open up DaVinci Resolve. Navigate to the Fairlight workspace and select the ADR tab next to the Sound Library option. Click the menu icon in the top right corner of the ADR panel and select Import Cue List. Open the cue list created by Closed Caption Creator. Click Clear Import to import the results. Congratulations, you've imported your first cue list. You may notice that the character column is blank. Let's go back to Closed Caption Creator and quickly add speakers to our project and re-export a new cue list. Navigate to the Speakers tab and open the Speakers Manager. Create a new speaker for the narrator and a speaker for on-screen titles. Assign speakers to your events by selecting an event and clicking on one of the speaker icons in the Speaker tab. Next, let's re-export our cue sheet and bring it back into the ADR panel in DaVinci. You should notice now that the character column is populated by the assigned speaker. The ADR panel in DaVinci Resolve is a powerful tool that you can use for recording real voiceovers. Unfortunately, it's outside the scope of this course. We recommend searching for other training videos on YouTube to learn how to set up the ADR panel and record your own voiceover work. We'll include links to some tutorial videos in the video description below, including one from Jason Yavlaski that we think is quite good. In the next video, we'll look at exporting audio descriptions from Closed Caption Creator using Synthetic Voice.